Hey guys, it's Alejandra here and welcome back to my channel. I want to start off by thanking everybody who is supporting me as of lately. I've been pursuing my activist journey and really trying to be a little bit more involved in my community. And I honestly couldn't do it without you guys and your support. So if you guys can do me a big favor and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions or you want to share your opinion on our topic for today. And don't forget to subscribe for notifications of any future videos. So let's go straight into the video. I'm going to go ahead and do another educational video and today's topic is going to be transphobia. Transphobia is the fear, hate, disbelief or mistrust of the trans community. These feelings stem from generations of inherited misinformation or lack of information, also known as ignorance. Transphobia manifests in many forms, including aversion and prejudice, or discounting our identities as a whole, meaning that we are either making it up or it's all in our head. This is a core theory to the ideology of a transphobe known as metaphysical skepticism. Another theory in the transphobe's ideology would be the gender performative theory. Fundamentally, this theory is saying something and doing what you are saying simultaneously. So what I mean by this is saying, for example, in this case, I am a woman and acting like a woman, saying you are a man and acting like a man. The objective of these theories are to delay trans people of their human rights. Because if transphobes were to hypothetically acknowledge our existence, we would finally be able to move forward and live our normal lives. So as long as these theories are enabled, we will continue to experience maltreatment and the denial of our rights. There are many ways that you can help even if you don't agree or completely understand. Simply respecting each other's beliefs is a really great start. Transphobe etiquette comes in many different forms and is rarely unintentional and harmless. The lack of knowledge, use of assumptions, and misinformation creates room for disbelief, hate, and violence. Transphobic practices include negative attitudes and beliefs, aversion and prejudice, irrational fear or misunderstanding, disbelief or discounting existence, derogatory language, bullying, abuse, and let's not forget violence. According to Forbes in 2020, there has been 350 deaths worldwide due to transphobia. This can be resolved and our biggest weapon is education. The problem is breaking through generations of misinformation and the inexperience of trans people themselves. When there is either a lack of or incorrect information, we are left to our own assumptions, allowing us to create our own ideas based on outside influences and our own personal experiences. Ideas are also taught and inherited, establishing the way a human thinks, feels, and does things. More than likely, these ideas are wrong and promote negative ideas about trans people. A lot of these ideas come from media and people who either are in trans or don't know trans people. A lot of these ideas can be seen in movies where trans people are perceived as deceivers or monsters, even villains. Strict beliefs about traditional gender roles can be equally as harmful as they are helpful in aiding trans people in identifying their gender. This being said, it is not the only thing that identifies our gender. Knowledge is key in creating advancements to human rights, in this case, trans ones. The neglect of this information has severe consequences not only on society, but trans health as well. Individually, transphobia leads to depression, fear, isolation, 
feeling of hopelessness, and suicide. This transphobic ideology justifies putting trans people in the wrong prisons, the denial to domestic violence shelters, as well as the rejection to basic human rights like healthcare, jobs, and housing. It does not stop there. Other adversities our community faces include banning from public spaces, misgendering, and violence, simply for being oneself. In the end, transphobia prevents people from living full lives free from harm. Solving the issue of transphobia will not be quick or easy. It will take genuine effort and the ability to open your mind to alternate forms of life. Practicing conscious acts of respect when interacting with trans people. This includes not using slurs, not asking personal questions about genitals, surgery, or sex, discrediting stereotypes and not making assumptions, supporting regardless of your own personal gender, asking the preferred pronouns and name, using gender neutral language, speaking up when transphobia is occurring, and most importantly, educating yourself. Here are a few questions that I would love to have you ask yourself if you yourself have transphobic views or know anybody who is transphobic. Ask yourself why. Why am I so involved with another person's decisions? Why am I so involved with another person's life? Why do I join in on transphobic bullying? Why don't I say anything or stop transphobic conversations? Why does it bother me what someone's gender is? Why am I attracted to a trans person? Could I be transgender? With transphobia being the fear of trans people and at its core, the questioning of our existence leads me to one question. What is it about our existence that frightens you? This is the real question. This concludes this video. If you guys, like I said, would like to share your opinion, go ahead and leave it in the comment box below. If you guys liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you guys on my next video.